Good morning. Do we know each other? Absolutely. Since about five seconds ago, my friend. Marcel Richard, draftsman at your service. You wouldn't happen to know anything about alchemy by any chance? Absolutely. Mix vodka with lemon, whiskey with soda, or rum with pineapple juice. None of these transforms metal into gold, but they do something better. They transform women into goddesses. Do you like antiques, Marcel? No, to tell the truth, I am hiding from my creditors. If you see a short blonde man who looks like money come in, you let me know. I'm looking for a diary. It's supposed to be in the back room, but if you should run across it here... I shall make it my personal quest, my friend. If I have to kill someone to get your diary, I'll do it. Good morning. At last, a polite young man. Don't you agree, Walter? Are you in Paris on vacation? Exactly, dear. We're celebrating our undivorce. Uh, Walter? Did you say you just got undivorced? Exactly. We'd been divorced for just six months when Walter had a heart attack. He changed completely, became a totally different person. So I said, do you want to get undivorced? And he said, so you two can't remember why you divorced? I don't know. Well, we used to fight a lot. Remember how you always used to contradict me, Walter? I know it's hard to tell these things from the outside, but I can assure you that everything's different now. I'm happy to hear that you've reconciled. Life gave us another chance, dear. And I swear on my guardian angel that we're going to make the most of it. Is Walter okay? No after effects? Just the opposite, dear. He's much better like this. Isn't that right, Walter? Is it your first time in Paris? Our very first. We've been wanting to come here all our lives. But things got in the way. Kids, work, and then, well, <laughs> the divorce. For the master alchemist, everything is made up of these few elements, the order of the flesh, and its unknown carnal work. 
must also be based on them. And it is told that Don Gines de Ordoña, a priest, poured mercury from his right hand, sulfur from his left hand, sprinkled salt on top, and lit a fire underneath that blazed white hot like the depths of hell. I can't remember where the diary is. It's comforting to know that I'm not the only thing you've forgotten, John. But I won't make the same mistake twice. You've got exactly two hours to look for the diary in the back room, and then you're out of here. You can go fuck yourself and leave me in peace. I don't have to put up with this crap.
You disgust me. You smell like shit because you're a scumbag. Huh, you little scumbag? But I'm gonna leave you looking like a princess. Anyone ever give you a manicure? I found him, Cooper. Henry? Who? Boris. He's been in Happy Dale, a mental hospital about an hour from here for the past two years. Should we go after him? He knows too much. Toothpick. No, he's totally around the bend. No one pays any attention to his delusions. I'm sure our friend would like to have a long chat with him. Don't you? I don't understand what you mean about doing it for your father. I saw the same excitement in you that I saw in him. Notre Dame, alchemy, the order of the flesh. You're both after the same thing. What are you afraid of? The same thing will happen to you as to him. He took his own life, John. I don't know if it was the investigation or what, but he took his own life. What was your father like? My father was a good man. He was quiet, affectionate, solitary. He hardly left the house after my mother died. Did your father share his hobby with anyone? A friend, for example? When I was a little girl, yes. A strange man. He went by the name of... Choke, I think. He became stranger and stranger as time went by. One day he disappeared and never came back. Do you know why you're... No, never mind. I excuse me. Why my father committed suicide? No. He'd spent the entire day with an American collector. They made some good deals. The man was going to pay us a lot of money. We were going to restore the store, travel. When I woke up the next morning, he had hanged himself. Amnesia. I was poisoned with mercury. Some things I don't know, but I do have some answers, thanks to your father's diary. Henry White is... Henry White will be most pleased to learn this. 
The diary. I killed the girl just like I killed her father. Oh my god! Ah! Hands up. Get out, you bastard. Get out, or I'll make you drink mercury again after I finish off the girl. Out! <laughs> 